All right, guys, how does a Corsair K95 Platinum hold up over time? So this keyboard is three years old. As you can see, I bought it in 2020. It's dusty, it's dirty, it's heavily used. So what held up? So the switches, I haven't had to replace a single switch. Every key still works the way it's supposed to. All the buttons up here still work. The rocker, pretty much everything's fully functional. After three years, what do I like about it? Um, I love the fact that there are the G switches over here. G switches are programmable using Stream Deck, so anything you can do with the Stream Deck, you can do with these three to uh, six buttons. The media buttons are easy to get to and nice and big, so you can pretty much work them without looking. So if you're over here gaming and you don't like the song, you just come up here, bump it real quick, and then just keep gaming. It's not like having to hit a function button or whatever like some other keyboard. Now, what do I not like about it? I don't like that all the keys were solid black, so you just get the underglow and then the glow through. So what we did is my wife bought me a keycap set for Christmas, I believe, last year, and I put those on, and I absolutely love the result. The last thing is kind of a love it and hate it. So these are all uh, MX speed switches. So if you just barely bump it, it registers. Now that's really good if you're typing or whatever, you don't have to worry about you know making sure you press all the way down. It's really nice that way, but it's also bad because if you barely bump something, then it registered. It is something I got used to over time. It wasn't a big deal. And I think these come with uh, regular switches, like there's an option, regular switches or speed switches. But yeah, guys, that is the three year review of the Corsair K95 Platinum. Let me know what your favorite keyboard is in the comments.